how do we make an obsidian material in Blender? I'm starting with a simple cube subdivided and uh, a very bright light because uh, um, I like to, uh, to have my scene completely illuminated like in this way and I use two sky texture mixed uh, as you can see here if you want the same effect but let's go back to the object this one first of all we have to study the obsidian um, material as you can see uh, the color of course is black it has some circular patterns that are, um, that are some bumps okay but some displacement on the, the surface but not in every part for, exam for example here there is not okay and uh, as you can see in this image uh, the obsidian is uh, transparent actually where it's thin where it's dense it's not where it's thin it's transparent so we'll use these two, this two criteria to make our, uh, our material first of all uh, we need a uh, color ramp and uh, we need uh, a color that is uh, reddish something like um, something like like that okay uh, we put it in the base color and you, as you can see now is a uh, totally red that is not what we like well we use this kind of slide uh, on the color ramp to make it uh, closer to the depth that to the effect that we want but uh, um, we want to see that transmission there's a uh, there's transparency of the material so for now we'll uh, put it back all these uh, these uh, those values we will use red uh, as a uh, first color and um, just to show the transparency and the transmission we will set to uh, to the top uh, and 0.1 to the ER now as you can see the material is totally transmi uh, transmittent okay it's totally transparent uh, but this this is don't want what we want <laughs> isn't it what what <laughs> what we want so you will have a uh, volume absorption volume absorption criteria that will put it where we put the color inside and uh, here okay now so now as we can see in the center of the image is more dense okay but the transparency don't work at all and uh, even if we make it more you know like that uh, you can still see that uh, mm, uh, the circle behind uh, probably this a little bit too much let's put it to two okay um, to show that the density actually does influence the transparency okay because we still can see behind and uh, this is not what we want uh, we can try to add some specularity but uh, doesn't work at all the only thing that you can do is uh, to add uh, a metallic effect first of all and uh, um, after that uh, you will see that uh, the mm, the transparency works correctly after you had a metallic effect on the uh, on the surface uh, it will fade, fade uh, much better the point is we get it to okay you can see here you still can see the circle but the circle does influence it the, uh, the, the value inside the material okay it fades away after a while so uh, after we made uh, a little bit metallic we can add all the specularity we want I want it uh, very specular but the material is still rough on the surface I mean the, um, the light refract, uh, refracted is not uh, um, is not shiny mm? it shines only on the um, on the cracks uh, on the circular patterns uh, well some specular tint too and uh, some sheen 
a little bit and uh, I will add more shine with the clear coat 0.8 yes okay uh, I remember you this is not the final color the final color is something like that mm? that, that is it obsidian uh, I try to shade it smooth okay better <coughs> now after we made the base settings uh, for the material we start uh, with the uh, with the cracks with the circular patterns so uh, what we had here is a uh, wet texture okay we had a color ramp here perfect and we just put it uh, this in the displacement but it's not the final effect that we want just to show it uh, here how, how it works um, bands and X is fine we will use uh, the so one I will show later why uh, the scale for now is 5 uh, we will increase it a lot but we want a lot of distortion of course uh, the tail to 1 the tail scale is fine the tail roughness is fine and uh, if you have not wrangler activated ctrl t and we have uh, the mapping and the texture coordinate i want to add uh, a nice texture here to make it more irregular but not too much so something just 1.1 uh, for instance um, lower the tail uh, the roughness uh, a little bit 0.1 and no distortion at all okay um, you we have some circular pattern but in the original image uh, as you can s uh, as, as you saw before there are some intersection on those uh, circular patterns so we uh, take all of this we duplicate it okay and uh, this time uh, instead of bands here we made some rings uh, spherical effect so it's fine we uh, make it double at uh, less 10 for now uh, distortion only one mm, the tail to the max no the tail six uh, the test scale one is fine, the roughness is fine, we just rotate a little bit here and uh, the noise textures uh, mm, probably more rough okay now what we do what with these two selected we add a, a, a mix uh, a mix RGB shift add mix RGB okay this is goes in color 2 this is goes here instead of mix we use a multiply okay so we have two lines intersected with a maximum factor of course and uh, uh, for now uh, are very low uh, density we will increase the density after because uh, my computer is not that uh, <laughs> strong to sustain uh, uh, a big render so for now we'll just use uh, this definition but we will increase it and uh, as we seen before uh, uh, not every part of the obsidian is uh, have this uh, have those cracks there are some parts that have those cr cracks and some parts that have not so we use a criteria of difference adding a Musgrave Musgrave texture here uh, 3D is fine uh, for now we scale it to 1 maximum detail um, a bigger dimension uh, something like uh, 13 okay I'll show you the result here and to this uh, ctrl T and uh, add a nice texture right now but in instead this will be a little 
smaller mm, uh, more detail mm, roughness to the max distortion something like that so we have this effect on the Musgrave um, Musgrave texture and uh, okay this side is probably a little bit a little bit more okay uh, I said before this is a criteria that will we use to uh, have um, a place where the um, where where the, um, the 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 cracks there are and where the cracks not so we add a color ramp right here and why because uh, we want more definitions where those cracks are and where are not probably okay something like that ah no now it looks fine and how we'll uh, mix it we will mix it with a substrate uh, mix RGB okay as a factor not as a color so there are parts where uh, is flat uh, there are parts where it's not where the cracks are more evident uh, and the parts where the cracks are not uh, as you can see here and probably uh, let's see probably we can add it a little bit more okay 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 uh, of course uh, for now the, the um, now you can see there are parts that are smooth parts that, that are more uh, intense okay but of course this displacement uh, is not right because uh, we have to have more control on the, on the displacement you don't uh, plug a mix uh, RGB uh, directly into displacement we will add first uh, a color ramp okay and a vector displacement here this will goes oops this will goes in the vector displacement right here this will goes in the factor and we inverted it and vertical and make it uh, uh, much much smaller 0.05 okay now we have our obsidian material ah I forgot I forgot to uh, increase the size of those lines uh, um, should be uh, a lot a lot a lot bigger something like uh, 50 here and uh, 200 here at least to have it uh, mm, or it takes some time to render but as you can see we got the effect that we want and this is how you make obsidian material if you want uh, you can download it, it from my gumroad and uh, for free uh, thank you for watching uh, my video see you see you soon